What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Uh, it's been about a week since our last video. I said I was going to try to do like a upload schedule thing. So I'm going to go ahead and start off this video by saying thanks for all the support on the channel. Uh, it's growing slowly but steadily and um, I just really appreciate all the comments and the positive feedback and the, the more constructive criticism going on. But as you've seen throughout this channel, um, we do focus more on like lower price point. We, we make do with what we've got. And there are hundreds of videos on YouTube about decoding uh, weather in OAA weather satellites. They got uh, with the radio dongles, with R2L SDRs, um, audio interfaces from the radios. But here on this channel, we like to keep things um, simple. So what we're going to do with this video is I'm going to show you how to de uh, download those images from the weather satellites using the Baofeng radio and you can use a rubber ducky but I have a whip antenna so that's the first thing you're gonna need really is this any type of radio that's capable of receiving on the like around 137 megahertz um, and we're gonna use an audio recorder in this case again we're gonna use our phones because it's handy everybody's got one so really you don't need anything else um, Maybe in the future we'll upgrade and do some videos where we audio interface or use a dongle and this and that. But I'm doing. I'm trying to do things everybody's not doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the the Baofeng radio, the thirty dollar uh, Baofeng radio. We do have the upgraded whip antenna. You can use the rubber ducky for this. I have. And you're just going to put in the frequency um, of the NOA weather satellite that we're going to be using. Uh, and in this case, I have a pass coming up with NOA nineteen. So I'll be using that frequency. The next thing that you're going to want is a way to track satellites. And we've been through this through a thousand videos. Uh, you guys know that I use the Heavens Above app. So I'm not going to go in and show you uh, how to download it because we've done it. And we're also going to use the audio recording app. I'm using Voice Recorder. You can pretty much use any type of um, audio recorder on your phone. You just want to make sure that it does have like an option for high quality. Because what happens is, we're, we, as the satellite's going to go over, we're going to listen to it on the radio and record it on the phone. And that phone, we're going to take that audio file from the phone and we're going to transfer it onto a computer where we can decode the, uh, the noise stream into um, a picture. And that's really all it is. That audio that's coming over the satellite is um, decoded into a picture from the weather satellite. Um, of the earth so that's really cool it, they just encode it in audio and then you can decode it and that's that's all you need you don't need cables you don't need uh, software to find radios and all this other stuff you need a Baofeng radio and an audio recorder and a computer so I'm going to show you guys kind of how that works and like I said we are going to be using that NOAA uh, 19 and the frequency for that let's see here is 137.1 megahertz. This particular pass for me is coming up at 1641. That's about 2141 Zulu time. And it's a pretty good pass. Uh, it's going to go right over the horizon. So as long as we do everything right, we should get a good picture out of it. So as in the last tracking videos, you know, you just need your radio. You need the frequency that you're going to listen in on. You need the time. and um, that the satellite is rising and you need a voice recorder. So we're going to move outside here once the satellite starts passing over and we can just go ahead and get started with the recording phase and then we can worry about decoding it later. Alright, so it is currently raining and I... <clears throat> Alright, so it is raining and I really apologize for the, uh, the awkward angle there on the camera. But it is raining, and um, so I had to kind of angle the camera so that uh, it's on the other side of the vehicle. But I'm going to go ahead and turn on the radio. This right here is the sound of the satellite actually going over. This is what you should be able to hear. Uh, we're starting out a little late because I had to fix the camera. So we're going to get a little bit chopped off. But I'm going to go ahead and get the phone app ready so I can go ahead and start recording this. And this is really all you have to do.
All right, so I just stopped the file there, stopped recording. Um, it's super cold out here, it's a little rainy, my fingers are frozen. But uh, that's exactly 10 minutes I got, and you'll notice when I first started, I was angling the antenna broadside over the horizon as we went over. Uh, that's what you gotta do with these whips to maintain like a good signal strength. Uh, so I know this is a little awkward, probably some water on the lens, but uh, that's pretty much how this goes. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to pull that over to the computer and decode it. All right, so basically now we just need to get this file onto the computer and there's different ways to do that. I'm just going to film myself doing what I normally do is I'm going to open up my Smart Recorder app. I'm going to find the file and I'm going to click Share and then I'm going to save it to my Google Drive and we'll just save it as NOA919 and then I'll put um, Jan so I know it's which one it is, just in case I have another one. And we'll go ahead and hit save. And that file is going to be uploaded to the Google Drive. So now we are going to move on to the computer, and I'll show you guys how to resample it in Audio City, and then we will decode it. All right, so we're back on the computer here, and I have uh, my NNOA NOAA 19 file. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is open this file up in a program called Audio City, and I will provide a link below for the download for that uh, if you're not familiar. So you're going to open Audio City, and uh, you're going to go and just drag your file on over inside. And uh, when it says it's to choose an import method, just use it, uh, the default make a copy of the files um, per se for editing. And this is going to be our um, actual uh, audio stream right here. So what we're going to do is go down to the bottom left uh, to the project sample rate. And we're going to change that 11 to 11025. Oops. My screen's not sized right. There we go. So you're going to change this to the 11025. And uh, we're going to highlight all of this here. And we're going to go to Tracks resample and it's going to automatically have that 11025 resample rate we're going to hit okay and it's going to take a few moments here um, and there may be an additional step too depending on your audio recorder if it did dual channel with the left and right channel you'll also want to go to tracks mix and mix and render uh, mix stereo down to mono that will be available for you if you have two of these so once we do that, you're going to hit File and Export, and we, you need to export it as a WAV for the software to work correctly. I'm going to rename this to uh, NOAA19 um, Jan Resample. That way I know where it's from, and I know it's already resampled. And we'll go ahead and, and um, save that file. And you're going to need one more piece of software, and it's called WX2IMG. And this is going to be the software that actually imports uh, that new newly resampled audio file and decodes it into an image. Now I already have it um, installed here. I'm going to provide a link in the description for the download. But you'll open this up, and um, it may make you wait a few seconds before it opens. Um, and then we get this screen. So the next, uh, the first thing you want to do here is go to File, and you want to update Kepler's. Next you want to go back to file and you're going to hit um, open audio file. And you're going to go to where uh, you save your resample audio file. In this case it's this right here. And down here you're going to see some debug information and hopefully uh, you don't see much red stuff but we did see some here. So what we're looking at here is an image from the satellite. Uh, and it's not too pretty. Uh, so we can put some filters on to kind of make it uh, spice it up a little bit here and uh, I think one of those is like the false color. We'll see if that does it any justice. Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, you can also do things like um, you can draw borders a lot of the time depending on which satellite and uh, Let's see. There's a lot of cool things that you can do here. Um, so you, that's the uh, called pristine. 
you can do uh, vegetation um, there's just a lot of different things you just need to play around with it some but this is our image and although it doesn't look too pretty uh, the clouds are kind of there and the weather wasn't too too good so obviously it's gonna be a little cloudy on top of us using a Baofeng radio <laughs> to receive the image but uh, I think in terms of like the the conditions uh, this is pretty cool you can receive the images with uh, just a little Baofeng radio and just record it over the audio and this is what you get um, so if you guys like this video you'll see more of this type of content or if you want to see other projects done with the Baofeng radio do let me know down in the, uh, the comments and um, I'll keep on uploading thanks for watching